continue. Okay, so Twitch and YouTube, everyone should be back now. Uh, I didn't restart the stream, I just uh, ended the recording for YouTube. So we're going to go and uh, do what I said at the end of last video, which is we're going to go over to the cave behind Trappers, uh, the transition cave between Mystery Lake and uh, Mountain Town, to look for coal. Uh, I suppose... well, hmm. Yeah, I don't... it's clear enough I'm not going to worry about saving this fire, so... I'm going to let that torch go. Uh, now that I'm carrying, not carrying any guts to attract the wolves, we should be safe to travel without it. Right now we're gathering fuel in preparation for hunting a bear. Um, because I am going to want to be warm next to the bear long enough to get all the meat off the bear. And obviously all the, the hide and the guts, probably. The guts are probably the least important thing off of a bear, usually, in my mind. Um, if for no other reason, because it gives you so many, so many guts, right? So there's definitely scenarios where I would happily lose a few guts off the bear uh, for, for meat in the long run. Just because of how many guts it gives you. Um, we do have enough uh, Rishi T on hand, so uh, if I get parasites, internal parasites, we should be able to treat that. Um, though I still would prefer to avoid that. Right, that's that's a tedious. I think on Intel it's a twenty to grind, grind to do. Um, that we don't really want to go through. Um, though the flip side of that is, if we do get uh, intestinal parasites, we'll basically be able to eat all the bear meat and uh, wolf meat we want. As you can't get it twice uh, at the same time, right? So you have to clear it before you can get it again. And we're likely at this point to... Um, if we were to get intestinal parasites, we'd be likely to uh, successfully treat it before... Well, to, to get cooking five before we finish getting it, treating it all the way, and getting it again, so. Uh, you'll see I took a, a detour here. Uh, normally I walk out to the barrier, because that gets me around the wolves. Uh, but today I saw the wolf in the corridor I usually go through, so I'm, I'm taking a detour to go around the wolf. It's not much of a detour. But, uh, you see me sort of back up and sort of go back the way I came, that was, that was why I saw the wolf. That's over there. Yep, if, if you've got a good good eye on you, you probably see the wolf as we're walking through the trees here. Looking for the easy fuel, so things like sticks we'll pick up. Uh, the route we're taking over to the trapper's cabin also occasionally has some birch bark on it, so I'm going to keep my eye open for birch bark. I can already see a piece of birch bark. One tasty birch bark. I say tasty birch bark. I have no idea how birch bark actually tastes in real life. It might not actually be all that tasty, but uh, from game mechanic standpoint, it's really good. And another piece of birch bark, so that's a full birch bark tea. And another. Uh, we might find one more, but I think that's all we're going to get. Yeah, not much to say. We're just happily trudging through the forest here. It's not so cold that we're really worried about the cold right now. 
though as, as it always is on Interloper, it's always getting colder for the first, I think, 50 days. Uh, so we do still want to be making progress towards getting our hide clothing so we can be warmer to counteract the whole world getting colder. Um, and also in the early days, we're usually sticking to the warm regions anyway, so I think Mystery Lake is warmer than places like uh, Bleak Inlet. Uh, the very long-term goal of this run is going to be uh, actually doing basically Faithful Cartographer, so I'm planning on trying to go everywhere uh, in Interloper. Uh, I have done it by myself once on Stalker in the whole old area, uh, so it won't be like looking at Jeep and Pop or anything, but it will be nice to see if I can do it on Interloper. Um, and then I haven't done things like the Far Territories yet, so I might try appending those on if I can get the mapping and the rest of it going well. As you can see, I haven't been in this cave yet, so we've got a candy bar. Behind. And we've, we've definitely got enough coal, so we can definitely move on to bear hunting. going to be the next um, next sort of pre-planned challenge section is going to be getting getting the bear, well, getting multiple bears. We probably want uh, four to six bears. Uh, we probably don't need to do it all at once, but we want to probably, I at least want to get at least two uh, so we can get the stuff, the bear hide going, bear hide coat going. We've got a good turnout of coal. And that brings us up to eight. This is not generally the best cave for coal. Um, as one might imagine, I think the coal mines are better for looking for coal. Um, but this is one of those sort of convenient places to go if you're in. Uh, either Mountain Town or Mystery Lake. A lot more convenient for Mystery Lake than it is for Mountain Town. So this is the end of the transition zone, so from there on is uh, technically Mountain Town, uh, the Mountain Town zone. Um, which is not a place I've actually been to on this interloper run yet, so that's probably going to be a pretty um, high yield area when we go there. Um, but I haven't had necessarily had a reason to go up there yet. There's nothing important up there that isn't available elsewhere at the moment, so... Yeah, this, uh, this is the one I think started... since I started recording videos for YouTube, this is the second interloper run. Um, the first one made it all about one one session. It was sort of a quest in fertility. Uh, the second one is going a lot better than the first one. Um, as you might imagine, as we're on... Well, I think technically this is now going to be part 17 on YouTube. Um, we're actually starting to complete some of or most of our early game goals, which is we've basically got the tools going, we've got the backpack from the gold mine, We've uh, now got the bow and arrow going, even though we haven't shot anything with the bow and arrow yet. Hopefully because I was reasonably quiet there, I think the breathing filter should have kept you from hearing the siren going by. Uh, but uh, on the road nearby there was a, an emergency vehicle going past. So the character is a little overweight, so I'm going to dip into trappers to do uh, inventory triage, uh, and then we're going to go bear hunting. Might have to drop some gear, or deer hunting. Depends on what we run into first. I'm going to hunt something. We're going to actually use this bow and arrow. Mm. 
Where? Oh, just a flyover on the crows. Okay. Let's say, where is the corpse? I don't generally remember the corpse being over here. Um, so as the map said, this is Trapper's Homestead. A lot of people refer to it as Trapper's Cabin, uh, because it's a cabin. So as the homestead's the area, like the cabin is the building people go into. Light on the porch so we can see things. Uh, so we already got some fuel here, so I maybe didn't need to be so heavy on the fuel gathering. I probably don't need to be carrying around this much cooking oil, so I'm going to leave some cooking oil behind. Um, actually, let's leave all the cooking oil behind. If I'm going to cook anything uh, from the cookables, I'm probably going to cook the uh, porridge. Don't need this many recycle cans, so we need a recycle can. Somewhere in that pile is a re well, recycle can, but that's fine. In fact, I'm going to leave all the recycled cans behind. So, place another recycled can. The stove, I'll leave that one behind. Granted, it's slimmed down, so when we actually start hunting, we got carrying capacity to carry any of the goods we get. Um, I'm going to leave the book here. We'll keep the candy bar on us. Keep the sock on us. Don't need that hat. Uh, probably don't need that many teas, but the teas will be fine. Okay, and that's a better carrying position to be in, so I'm gonna leave that fuel here. Don't need the fuel right now. Yeah, I know the contradictory thing is like, oh, I need fuel, I don't need fuel, but we got 40 for 6 and we got 10 coal, so I'm gonna leave that fuel here. Uh, so we got some spare carrying capacity if we find more uh, as we go along. We'll make sure that all the lantern fuel is in the lantern to minimize the weight of the fuel. And now we go a-hunting. So this is probably the best time of day to be... Well, maybe not exactly the best time of day, but this is about as late as you want to start a hunting trip in the game, usually. As you can see, um, we're not all that cold. Um, If you're hunting late night or early morning, it'd be quite a bit cold. Uh, but if you're starting a hunt, uh, I suppose technically late afternoon, if it's a sunny day, would be best time to hunt. Uh, but this is sort of the next best time to hunt when it's still early enough in the night that it hasn't started to cool down yet. Too much. So I do know that the bear is up near uh, the sort of swampy area over here. So we're going to go see if we can uh, get that bear. Because that's probably the easiest bear that I've located as far as hunting is concerned. case, I think you may have heard that siren going past. That one I think was loud enough to actually uh, overwhelm the breathing filter. Uh, I, I don't know what, uh, what's happened in the neighborhood that's causing emergency vehicles to go by. Before, I'm fairly close to a on-off fly ramp on uh, the interstate, so uh, they're probably not coming to my neighborhood. They're probably going through my neighborhood to go someplace else. There's the hunting blind. 
Next question is, where is the bear? There is the bear. Can we hunt that bear? And we have a hit! The bear did not detect me, I hit the bear, so now it is just a waiting game. Time to stalk a bear. Yeah, of, of the bears that I know that are up, that's probably the easiest one to hunt, for exactly that reason. Um, sadly, the lake one isn't up. The lake one's probably a little easier uh, to hunt. Um, but it's not up. And then the one over by the trapper cabin, I don't think it's up either. Okay, so it looks like his tracks went away. So either he stopped panicking, which is, is possible, or he died. Um, hmm. That'll actually make it harder to figure out where he went. Oh no. There he is, He's still running around. I don't know why his tracks went away then. So right now we're trying to stalk him and know the general area where he dies in. We don't necessarily need to harvest him right away. Um, he doesn't necessarily run away in an ideal direction, so I'll have to be a little bit careful, because over here is... Is that the one I shot? Or is that the other one? So the, the bear over here is the bear that's up. So that might be an ordinary bear. Well, an angry bear that hasn't been twanged with an arrow. Or that might be the one that got twanged with the arrow. Okay, that is the one I twanged with the arrow, because the one that I haven't twanged is over there. Okay, I don't know if he's coming towards me or not, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to warm up next to a fire while we wait for him to... Hopefully die. Well, that sounds uncomfortable close. Come on. Come on. It worked. Yep, that's, that's uncomfortably close. So he doesn't like my presence. Um, in an emergency, I can jump off the cliff behind me to get away from him. But he, as long as I don't do anything threatening, he should just stand there. As long as I don't do anything threatening.
So I'm pretty sure he's the one I trained with the arrow. Um, so that means sometime around about an hour from now, he should die. Or he's going to run off like that. Okay, well, I'm going to finish cooking this water before I go try to track him down again. Um, I am going to track him down before this episode ends. Uh, it may take the rest of this episode to figure out where he is. I might not actually go harvest him tonight, or harvest him this episode. It might be next episode, uh, given how long it's been taken to actually get to him. Um, and he didn't die from the air, of course. Okay, and that's the other one. I think that's the uninjured one. Um, once we finish with this bear, we might, depending on the fuel state, try to go after that one as well. Um, but that one's a little bit less of a rush. Let's see, can I do any productive crafting while running? A little bit. Maybe sharpen the knife that we're going to use. Oh, I didn't bring any sharpening stones with me, so I can't sharpen the knife we're going to use. Okay, so we'll just pass the 21 minutes to get the water boiled. Probably in hindsight, uh, trying to get that fire up, I probably just shoved too much fuel in the fire. I think I muted my mic before I did that big cough there. Where did he run off to? I think he ran straight down this cliff. Uh, which is not necessarily a particularly steep cliff, but... but yeah, the animals have a little bit greater capacity to travel over a steeper terrain than you do. That's always something to be a little bit cognizant of. They won't jump off of ledges, but they have a bit more of all-terrain capacity than you do. Okay, so we see his tracks. I don't see any blood from him being left behind. So he's at least no longer in a panicked state, uh, which may or may not be good. don't see a corpse. Sadly, it's the wrong time of day to get help from the crows. So I don't think he's in this cave. Okay, so there there he is. He's still a-walking. If everything's still vaguely going according to plan, the plan is to wait him out. Because he should be dying. Though, as the old saying goes, uh, plans frequently do not set contact with the enemy. the bear just scared the rabbits? Yeah, the bear just scared the rabbits. Mm. 
So because of the extra illumination my torch is giving, he's he's detecting me again. That's done. Again, he shouldn't attack me over lit fire unless I do something threatening. I'm surprised he hasn't died. I did hit him earlier. Uh, but I'm not seeing the arrow in him. So he ran away when I started making porridge. Where he ran away to, I don't know. It's the problem with time acceleration sometimes. You almost can do a surprising amount of travel when you're not looking. in the dark if that's him or not. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Yeah, 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 we're going back to the fire. Starting to get into the early night. I was hoping to know where his corpse would be uh, around about this point. Um, I don't know where he is anymore. He's gone and wandered off uh, during that last time time jump. So we're gonna have to try tracking the bear down again. How much wonder do I have on board? Uh, just for two liters, so we definitely still want to make more water when we have opportunities like this. Uh, do I take the fire with me and keep looking? There's no corpse there. Uh, what might have happened is he might have wandered off and, and died. My expectation is to be wandering back that way. He hasn't died. It's not over there. You know, I'm a little low in fatigue, so... I'm going to... Why we've got the time, we're gonna make, we're gonna make water. We're gonna make water. I'm going to assume that the bear will, given enough time, die. And I'm going to sleep next to this fire. Because we don't really need um, any condition points back. Uh, but rather, I want to get some fatigue back so we have carrying capacity. Again, because we're starting a little bit low on fatigue for carrying capacity purposes. Uh, 
Okay, so we should be moving around a little bit faster now. Um, it's probably a little bit colder, so... We're gonna probably feel not being near the fire a bit more. But we're gonna go back to looking for that bear. Uh, but this is around about point to put a break in for YouTube, so uh, I suppose YouTube, uh, tune in next time for seeing if we actually find that bear. Uh, we found him twice in a non-dead state. Hopefully the third time we'll find him uh, actually a corpse so we can har start harvesting. Uh, until next time.